Hey everyone, Michael Higdon here in studio talking to you about an organization that is expanding to low country elementary schools. I'm here with Emily Kerr with Charleston Hope to tell us a, a little bit more about what you guys are doing. For those who don't know what Charleston Hope is, Emily, uh, talk to us about what you guys do. Yeah, we are in Charleston's Title I schools, high poverty schools uh, across the low country, and our mission is to increase access to mental and behavioral health programs in those Title I schools to enhance student well-being. So what that looks like on a day-to-day -day basis for us is we run a after-school girls empowerment program that works with girls grades three through five. They get to go on field trips, real world experiences. They have um, CBT methods that they're working through just to increase their well-being, their social emotional learning. And then we have recently piloted and are expanding our Thrive school-based mental health counseling where we are bringing in licensed clinicians to work one-on-one -on -one and provide clinical counseling to students right there at their school during the school day just to support them to work through the experiences that they've had, the hardships that they've had. And so, yeah, we're really excited uh, just about the development of those programs and then we're going to continue to keep expanding them. I know mental health was a really big uh, key goal for you guys yeah. over the last couple of years. How have you seen that go so far? Um, for those who don't know, the, you guys were in two elementary schools. You're yeah. now expanding to a third. Talk to us how, kind of how that's been going. Yeah, we started out at Mitchell Elementary. That's our home base, our pilot school. We love them so much. And um, it started through our girls empowerment program, the after school program. And as we created the safe space and girls were beginning to recognize their emotions and express them like we we were desiring, we were seeing that impact being made, they were get, beginning to just disclose the hardships that they had been through. And that's when we realized, okay, there's this gap of social emotional learning and then the mental health space. And there just were not a lot of school counselors, therapists, the wait lists were really long. Uh, this was even pre-COVID. So then after COVID, that only, the gap only widened for students to receive services. And so we wanted to step into that gap. So that's when we launched that school-based counseling program and we're in about a year and a half of running and piloting that program and we got to expand to Hunley Park Elementary last year school number two and then we are heading into Pepper Hill Elementary this spring. Incredible. How is it going with the expansion so far would you say? It's going great. We love Hunley Park and Pepper Hill. Uh, they are amazing. It is just a joy to be able to work with the teachers and the families. It takes a full part partnership to get kids access to mental health. It's not just scheduling a therapist and a student. It's working with their families, the school administration, the teachers, uh, the parent advocates. And so we have been able to go into these schools and not only provide services, but to function as a coordinator of all of these services, all of these people. Uh, and we have been able to get over 30 to 40 kids mental health services just this past year. Incredible. Uh, for those in the community who might be watching this, what would you ask of them? What do you what do you guys need? Yeah, we are, of course, always accepting donations. Uh, it costs about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars just to send a student through our twelve to fourteen week program in therapy. So we're constantly raising money. The more sponsorships we can get for a student, the more access we can give to more students. Um, and then we're always looking for volunteers for our after school girls empowerment program. That is Monday through Thursday from three to six. Whether you have a skill you want to come teach the girls, uh, you want to share about your job, you want to just teach them anything, we incorporate that into our lessons because we want to expose them to as many community experiences and opportunities as possible. Incredible. All right, Emily Kerr with Charleston Hope. If you would like to learn more about Charleston Hope uh, or if you would like to donate, we will, of course, have that uh, website on our live, uh, under the bigger box on livefactors.com. In the studio, I'm Michael Hinton.